Welcome to JSTOR. This tutorial will show you how to use advanced techniques for searching on JSTOR, techniques that you can apply to many search engines and databases. So let's start with the advanced search page. I want to search for slavery in West Africa. I can enter all of that into the first line. Tip number one, JSTOR uses stop words. These are words that will not be searched because they're too common and will slow everything down. These stop words include in, at, the, a, uh, and, and more. Don't include them unless you use quotation marks around the entire phrase. Tip number two, quotation marks will search the terms as they appear. Be sure you're very confident in this exact order before using quotation marks. As an example, I search for to be or not to be with and without quotation marks. Notice the differences. I can select full text, author, item title, abstract, or caption. Captions are basically image searches, images that appear in the article itself. Tip number three, be very careful searching only for abstracts. A large portion of the materials on JSTOR don't have them, so we'll be eliminating a lot of the database. I can select and or not, or do a search for words that are near each other. The closer they are in an article, generally speaking, the greater their relevance to one another. I can add a field to include more complex connections and search statements. You can add up to five fields. I want to include both full-length articles and pamphlets, so I check those boxes. I should be careful with my search and dates. Was it always referred to as West Africa? Did it have a different name? Once again, synonyms are really important, especially in regards to time. Remember, Ghana used to be the Gold Coast. Taiwan used to be Formosa. Names change. Be careful with different spellings of the same words or plurals. I can account for that with a wildcard. Tip number four. A wildcard is an asterisk, and that will replace any number of terms or characters after the wildcard. For example, a search with AFRIC and the wildcard will find results containing Africa, African, and Africans. The same is true for stem searching. Use the pound symbol to find variations of a word. Goose with the pound symbol will find goose, geese, gosling. So back to my search. I put slavery on the first line. I type West Africa on the second line. I click search. There are some features here that will help my searching a bit. First, I can click show only results with images to see just the images. Or I can click show only content I can access to get the results my institution has access to. The key to the right will show you how the colors work. Green means access. Also, I can see that I can save search in the right hand column. The more I refine this search, the more I should consider saving it. I click modify search. I want to limit my results to African studies and history. Notice I can limit my search to any publication within that discipline. I click search. I've narrowed my results a bit. Tip number five. Think about the different disciplines that might have results you want. I could find some articles in anthropology, African American studies, geography, population studies, and maybe even sociology. It helps to check multiple disciplines, at least in your first few searches. As mentioned before, also notice the drop-down options in the disciplines. I can select all or any number of journals within those disciplines. If I know the specific journals I'm looking for, this saves me a lot of time. I only want results published in the 1980s, so in the date range field, I enter 1980 to 1989. I click search. Now I have fewer results, a fairly manageable list. So I want to save the search. Rather than recreate the search each time I come back to JSTOR, I can save it. I give it a name and click Save. If I'm logged in and want to see my saved searches, I go to My JSTOR and then Saved Searches. I can save as many as I want and run them whenever I want. Quite useful for organizing your research. Once I log in or register, I can check the boxes next to the results and then click Save Citation. Or I can email it to myself or export it. But maybe I'm struggling a bit with the terms themselves. 
Maybe I'm new to the discipline and just lack the vocabulary. Go to dfr.jstor.org and click Subject. Then click the subject you want and then click Key Terms. Those are all the terms the authors themselves use, so they're your best choice. You can adjust the date range to narrow in a bit on a particular time period. Hopefully this will help you get started. If you have any questions, be sure to contact support at jstor.org.